What's up, Beta Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. Today, we've got some breaking news with adoption taking place in Latin America with a huge partnership between the Cardano Foundation, the Cardano Community, and one of the biggest technological universities in Argentina. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right on in. I want to lay down the foundation here with a recent visit to Latin America by the Cardano Foundation and contributing members directly here from the Cardano community and them really beginning to um, expand the reach for Cardano while bringing more information and knowledge to some of these Latin American areas. So it states here, Cardano Foundation engages with Latin American governments. Last month, Cardano Foundation delegates embarked on a significant journey to Latin America where they engaged in fruitful discussions with government representatives from Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina. So we're starting to really see Argentina popping up more and more. We've got some big events taking place in Argentina when it comes to Cardano governance and the Cardano constitution, I should say, which will be signed in Argentina towards the end of this year. Now it reads on, government officials in these countries have expressed keen interest in harnessing the power of blockchain technology, obviously using Cardano. Now, a little bit further down, it states that it's worth noting that several encounters between government representatives and the Cardano Foundation were instigated by Cardano ambassadors and proactive community members. This is the power of the community. If you want something done, we cannot sit on our hands and ask Charles to do it, IOG to do it, the Emergo Foundation, or um, the Cardano Foundation actually go ahead and do those things. It's up to us as a community, especially once government comes online or governance comes online, to take it upon ourselves to go out there and really begin to strike up these conversations and spread the gospel surrounding Cardano. Now, within the Catalyst framework, one can propose a project aimed at arranging comparable meetings, which could notably expedite Cardano's adoption. So now that we've sort of got the ball rolling here, I'll be interested to see if more people take approaches towards putting out Catalyst proposals to do something just like this, right? To present Cardano to government agencies and governing bodies all around the world. The last thing I wanna highlight here is that it states that the governor believes that the most promising prospects lie in education and in streamlining public services for the residents of Entre Rios, which would cut costs, save time, and reduce bureaucracy. Now, this is only one piece here of today's big news piece. We also have the UTN, which is the National Technology University in Argentina, vouching to open up a new lab specifically for Cardano. So the goal here is to promote innovation and knowledge in the blockchain technology field. Now, this article is originally written in Spanish. It has been translated to English, which of course doesn't translate one to one. But I want to quickly highlight a couple of the reasons why they've chosen Argentina and then exactly how they see this partnership playing out. So it reads here that after a meeting was held between the University Extension Secretariat of the UTN, which is the university, and Ada Solar and the Cardano Foundation, news was announced that a blockchain laboratory would be installed on their facilities. Now, the objective is to promote blockchain innovation and knowledge in that particular area, and the organizations involved intend to set up a space that is the epicenter of technological innovation. Now, they'll also be monitoring the first blockchain workshop for the UTN in Buenos Aires. Now, in the sense, the institution has also added that during their meeting, the possibility that a Cardano Academy could become a unique teaching tool for UTN teachers and university students. Now, we've also seen the Cardano Foundation recently partnering up with Petrobus. I believe it's a gas and oil company based out of Brazil. And that was essentially to have a blockchain course be introduced to all of their 50,000 plus employees. So as you can see here, um, a really big focus in Latin America, Brazil, Paraguay, and Argentina. Now it states here, on the other hand, through this movement, they also declare that this shows their interest in working on the use of the Cardano's Foundation Digital Identity Solution, or DIDS, in their blockchain to implement an academic registration system for university students. We've seen very similar statements coming out about adoption for DIDS and identification, specifically for governments, as well as schools in Africa as well, right? So I think there were conversations surrounding Kenya when it comes to World Mobile, as well as the Empower Project. 
So really interesting to see again that we're sort of shifting back over to the original vision, which is to really be the backbone for some of these bigger governing bodies. I believe that's really it there for that particular announcement. Again, we've got a pretty big event, which is the Constitutional Convention taking place in December in Argentina. And as I close out this video, I want to quickly touch on the fact that Mauro Andreoli, who's been a huge member here, he is a Cardano ambassador, has been selected or awarded a scholarship by the University of Zurich for a blockchain economics and law course. So huge congrats to Mauro. I mean, he's been here for quite a bit of time. So to see him, you know, being one of the first members from Argentina to attend and receive this grant, I think is monumental. So that'll do it here for today's video. Again, highlighting the focus in Latin America. Shout out to everybody who's contributed to setting up some of these high quality meetings. Very efficient, as you can see, very fruitful with the recent announcement of a laboratory opening up at one of the biggest technological colleges in Argentina. That will wrap it up here for today's brief news piece. If you do appreciate updates like these and you just learn anything along the way, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, breaking down everything in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me, then make sure you leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.